Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are taking a look at the latest on Captain Dylan Larkin. The Detroit Red Wings captain is due for a new contract this coming off season. So we're going to go over what that number could look like and the big comparable to a potential contract for Dylan Larkin. We're going to take a look at that today. So Dylan Larkin is the face of this franchise. I You can make arguments, Lucas Raymond and Mo Sider are still pretty good hockey players, and you definitely have me there. But Dylan Larkin has been the face of this franchise for a long time now. Played at the uh, University of Michigan down the road, grew up in Michigan, and is now playing on the Red Wings, and is the captain of the Red Wings. Pretty much any Michigan native hockey player's dream, right? So he's living the dream. But now he's up for a new contract. And, you know, I talked about this during the summer, and it was, I really enjoyed those, the discourse between you guys and myself, because, you know, there was talk that the Red Wings could trade Larkin. Now, I don't think they will trade Larkin, um, but don't think for a second that the contracts this summer didn't play a factor in that. And that means two different ways. And this is the report here from Elliot Friedman. He said, the contracts this past summer will have an impact on what Dylan Larkin gets paid. Now, you can look at that in two senses. One is from other teams that, you know, comparable contracts to what Dylan Larkin can get. That's the first one. And the second one is, listen, he's looking around the room in Detroit and seeing Andrew Kopp get paid pretty nicely. He's taking a look and seeing some of those defensemen that came in getting paid pretty handsomely. So Dylan Larkin isn't going to come in cheap. He's saying to himself, listen, you look at some of the guys that came in, right? You know, Andrew Kopp, David Perron, uh, Ben Chirot. You know, they all got paid. So I want to get paid too. And that is definitely something to look at here. Now, here's the other side of that equation. And that is the comparable contracts around the National Hockey League. So what we're looking at here for Dylan Larkin, uh, his current contract is really good. Really, really, really good. But now the next contract, you kind of wonder what's going to happen with Larkin on his next deal. Now, I think he's going to get a pretty good deal, the Waterford, Michigan native. Um you know, Larkin has put up some really solid numbers. He's put up a 73-point season in 2019, 2018-19. He had 69 points in 71 games um, last year, which is really good. And he's starting off this year really well. One goal and three assists through the first two games. So he's got four points in two games. So Dylan Larkin is definitely somebody that if you want to look at a guy that is going to get paid... It will be Dylan Larkin, and he will be the highest paid player on the Red Wings next season. Now, what's the best comparable that we've been hearing recently? And that is New York Islanders center and forward Matt Barzell. So Matt Barzell's contract is this. Now, again, this is a Lou Lamorello contract. So Steve Eiserman, you know, there is reason to believe that the stingy nature of Steve Eiserman and hometown discounts could be applied here to the Islanders with Matt Barzell. So Barzell signed a deal back in 2021, and it was a three-year, $21 million contract. We all remember the story with that. Well, he's in the final year of that deal. And again, very similar to Dylan Larkin's contract situation. He also signed a bridge deal. A little bit longer, though. He signed a five-year, $30.5 million contract. Uh, bridge deal. So he's a little bit older than Barzy uh, at 26 years old, but they're, again, it's very similar. But Matt Barzell signed a max term eight year contract, and it comes in a little over $9 million per season, 9.15 per year. Now, again, the Islanders are also in a spot where they had a little bit more cap flexibility you know, moving forward than the Red Wings will when they have to re-sign some of their big guys like Cider and um, Tyler Bertuzzi and some of those guys. It's a little bit different with the Red Wings. But the Islanders here, listen, the first year, there is no trade um, protection for Matt Barzell. 
So it's a $9.15 million contract all the way to the eighth year of the deal. That is such a Lou Lamarillo contract. It's not even funny. Now, there is a modified no trade clause between years two and eight. So from the second year to the eighth year of that deal, Barzell has um, say on where he goes. Now, starting July 1st, of 2024, there is a 22 team no trade list, which means there are only 10 teams that Matt Barzell at that time would accept a trade to. So when you look at it in that sense, you know, there's a pretty good contract comparable. I think this is something that should definitely be considered for Dylan Larkin. Again, a lot of people will say one is better than the other, and maybe that argument is there, but you know, Dylan Larkin's camp seems to be looking at Matt Barzell's contract as a comparable, an eight-year, $73.2 million contract. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the Detroit Red Wings and the latest reports on Dylan Larkin potentially getting a new contract done? Let me know, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.